Hi all, in this session, I'm going to discuss about blocking and non-blocking assignments. Okay, uh, we know that in data flow modeling, continuous assignments are used, right? Continuous assignments are used to drive the metadata type variable by using the assign statement or assign keyword. So in behavioral modeling, the procedural assignments come into picture because we cannot drive the reg data type by using the continuous assignment. So in order to execute the reg data type, we go for procedural assignments. So in procedural assignments, two types are there, blocking assignment and non-blocking assignments. Okay. Here, uh, for basically procedural assignments, the LHS variable remains unchanged until the same value is updated by the next procedural statement. Okay. And RHS can be a value or an expression that value evaluates to a value and LHS expression can be reg type, integer type, real type or time uh, or a memory element. So here you can use any data type like reg, integer, real or time variable. Okay. The procedural assignments can be placed inside the procedural blocks like initial and always blocks and also they can also be used in uh, task and functions. Okay. We will see the blocking and non-blocking assignments first in detail. The first one is blocking assignments. So blocking assignments here when we are talking about the blocking assignments and non-blocking assignments two terms are important. We need to take care of that terms. Okay. That is one is evaluation and second one is updation. In blocking assignments evaluation and updation both takes place at the same time. That means immediately here blocking assignments will be assigned immediately. There is no like for evaluation and updation. It will not take a different time. That means both evaluation and updation takes place immediately. And the order is sequentially here. If we have multiple statements, the order is one by one. After the execution of the first statement, it goes to the second statements. So here order of execution is sequentially and it blocks other assignments until the current assignment completes. That's why the name called blocking assignments. It blocks other assignment until the current assignment completes. Okay. It does not block the execution of a statement in another procedural block. So it only blocks the other assignments until the current assignment completes in the same procedural block. So if we have a, a two uh, procedural blocks, okay, that time it will not block. For example, two initial blocks starts execution at the same simulation time. A blocking assignment in the first initial block does not block the execution in the another initial block. Okay. So this is the what it means. And the important one is race around condition. Race around condition is the important uh, point uh, that makes the difference between blocking and as blocking assignment and non-blocking assignments. Because race around condition can occur when an order of execution is unknown. If both statements are scheduled at the same simulation time. That means if a variable is used in a LHS of blocking assignment in one procedural block and the same variable is used in RHS of the another blocking assignment in another procedural block. Okay. That time the race around condition can occur as an order of execution is unknown if both statements are scheduled at the same simulation time. So here we know that it executes sequentially. So we don't know which uh, block will be executed first. Okay. Based on that, uh, it, there will be a race around condition can occur. You will understand once we go to the code. Okay. I have an example for that. So first we will discuss these things. An equal operator is uh, used in a blocking assignment to denote the blocking assignments. Okay. We will see the example first. So we will understand. Here. Uh, this is the example for uh, race around condition. Here I have taken two variables, reg data type. Okay. And data and y. Data has a phi value and y has a 3 value. This is an hexa format, phi and 3. So here I have uh, taken two initial blocks. In one initial blocks, I have a statement y is equals to data. And in second initial block, I have a statement data is equals to y. Right. So uh, race around condition can occur as an order of execution is unknown. So since uh, we have two initial blocks, this block will be executed first because this is the first initial block. This uh, block will be executed first, then this block will be executed first. Okay. So in first block, what we have y is equals to data. Data value is phi. So phi is assigned to y immediately. 
I told you that two terms, evaluation and updation, both takes place immediately. So directly y gets the value as a phi. Okay, if you print this value, you will get phi and phi here. And it goes to the second initial block. Time is same, means zero simulation time only. But the execution uh, has an order. First, it, this will executed. And now y has a value as phi, right? Data value is phi, so y has a phi. That value is uh, assigned to the data. Now. If you print the second, I will run the code, you will understand. So if you print the second statement, you will get the value as phi and phi only. Here I have an error. What it is? 2. Okay. Yes, I told you right, phi and phi, because Im, uh, evaluation and updation takes place immediately. Blocking assignments assigns value immediately. So data has a phi value, so it assigned to y, that y value is assigned to again data. So, so I told you that uh, here order of execution is unknown, right? Since we have a, this initial block is a first, right? So y is equal to data will be executed first, then data is equal to y will be executed what if i change the interchange the statements so i have an example for that also i'll show you now what i have done is i just interchange the statements because he, since it is a sequential manner first uh, any one of the initial block should happen first always the first initial block will executed first and the second initial block will be executed okay so here I have interchanged. In first initial block we have a y is equal to data. Now I have interchanged that is data is equal to y. And in second initial block y is equal to data is there. So this statement will be executed first. Since um, updation and evaluation takes place immediately, y value is 3, 3 is assigned to data. So I am printing y and data, 3, 3 you will get. And here data is equal to, uh, sorry, y is equal to data. Data value we got 3 just now, right? So it, it takes that value only. 3 is assigned to y. So data is also 3, y is also 3. If I run the code, you will get 3 and 3. Previously what, you, what we have got? 5 and 5, right? Now we got 3 and 3. This is called the race condition. Okay. This is called the race condition. So we can see 3 and 3. Previously we got 5 and 5 and 5 and 5, right? So it depends on the order, execution order. So we here we don't know which uh, this will be um, this will be uh, uh, this will be understand by simulator okay simulator will decide which block will be executed first if simulator executes this block first then you will uh, get the value as phi and phi based on the statements okay so here i have interchanged and this statement executed first and now we are getting 3 3 so we can avoid the race around condition by using the non blocking assignments we will see that Okay, in non-blocking assignments, the execution is parallel manner. I told you that in uh, no, blocking assignments, execution is uh, sequentially, but here parallelly executed. Okay, here if you see the evaluation updation, there is a slightly difference between blocking and non-blocking. In non-blocking, it evaluates the RHS at the beginning of the time slot, but updation of the LHS takes place at the end of the simulation. Okay. Evaluation takes place means it evaluates the RHS at the beginning of the time slot but updation of the LHS means LHS left hand side will takes place at the end of the simulation. This is the only difference. Okay, you will see once we run the code uh, then you can understand better and the third one is all the assignments will occur at the same time. Yes, this is the parallel execution, right? So first evaluation of the all statements will takes place. First, it will evaluate the all values simultaneously and execution. All the assignments will occur at the same time. Assignments will be executed at the end of the simulation. Okay. So, updation will take place at the end of the simulation. Evaluation takes place at the beginning of the time slot. And it does not block other very long statement assignments. So, that's why the name called non-blocking assignments. It does not block other very long statement assignments. And race around condition can be avoided. 
since here we don't have any order dependency right in blocking assignment we have seen that there is an order dependency one after um, sequential manner it is so that's why here uh, we have a raise around condition but in non blocking assignments since it is a parallel execution and evaluation of the all uh, statements takes place at the beginning of the time slot and updation takes at the end of the simulation time here we cannot see the raise around condition you will understand in a code i have an example for that also and the uh, one more important point is the operator here you can see this operator right we will use this in relational operator also but what makes the difference between non blocking assignment and relational operator is if you use this operator in a expression that time this becomes the relational operator and if you use this in assignments like this in, in this type we will use this uh, this is the non blocking assignment operator okay if you use this in expression then it is called a relational operator if you use this in assignment this becomes the non blocking assignment okay so uh, we will see the example this is the example same code i have taken okay same code i have taken here you can see that non blocking two initial blocks we have in first initial block i have an y is equals to less than or equals to data and here in initial begin data is less than or equals to y i told you that uh, here we will not get the raise around condition because there is no dependency on execution order and the order of execution of these two statements can be said to happen parallelly okay evaluation of the uh, evaluation takes place at the uh, beginning of the time slot right so in zero simulation time first in both uh, blocks execution parallelly only so data is what is the data value phi phi is uh, evaluated to the y and here data is, is less than or equals to y y value is 3 Three is evaluated to the data, but not the updation takes place yet. Okay, both this statement and this statement executed parallelly. And you once we run the code, what you will get is, you will see. Three and five, three and five. Why data uh, data is three and y is five? In this statement, if it is a blocking assignment, what you will get? data is phi and y is phi right you will get the phi and phi for both the uh, statements so here you will not get like this because first data will evaluated in here also y will be evaluated okay here data has a phi value phi is evaluated and here y has a 3 value 3 is evaluated so uh, updation will take place at the end of the simulation at the end simulation what you will, what you will see data has a value 3 and y has a value 5 orally uh, this will uh, display the statements okay at the end of the simulation you will get the updation value until and unless uh, you will not get the uh, value as blocking assignments so here this is the difference i hope uh, you may get uh, confusion because first you have to understand that it evaluates at the beginning of the time okay updation will takes place at the end of the simulation so here at the hash one time here also hash one time both the value will be updated at zero simulation time it will not update even though at the zero simulation time assignment is taking place right here zero simulation time its assignment is taking place but updation will not takes place at the zero simulation time at 1 nanosecond only the updation will takes place that's why time is equals to 1 you can see right so data is equals to 3 because already it is evaluated but uh, when it when it is showing the updation value the data is 3 because here parallelly executed so y is what uh, y is 3 3 is updated uh, updated to the data at the end of the simulation so you will get the data 3 here also data 3 and y is 5 because here zero simulation time uh, data is 5 5 is evaluated and updated at the 1 nanosecond so here also you will get in a 1 nanosecond Phi and phi. This is the only difference. I I have a, a same code with a different order. That means here you can see that in first initial block I have taken y is less than or equals to data. In this example, data is less than or equals to phi. I have interchanged the statements. Only interchanged the uh, statements. Okay, in two initial blocks. So here you can see that I have interchanged the statement. 
now also you will get the same output there is no difference because this is the parallel execution if you interchange also there is nothing uh, no difference 3 and 5 3 and 5 okay because if, if you change any manner you will get the same value because the execution is parallel and evaluation takes place at the zero simulation time updation takes place at the end of the simulation since the updation takes place at the end of the simulation you will not see the difference like uh, you will get the final value as 3 and 5 only okay so these are about the blocking and non blocking assignments i hope uh, you understand please uh, practice once and you will get to know thank you